Welcome to EA Sports, everybody. My name is James Sobalski. I cannot wait for this. Here we go. It's Game 7. And we are about set to drop the puck tonight. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. And it's a quick pass to McElroy. Good save. We're going to face off after the puck stays covered up. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. Asplund's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Puck picked up by Mayhew. Hershey's got it in their own zone. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. The Chickers will lose a man tripping the call. Nice high compete level makes them solid in the crease. As they step into the face-off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. Scoreless game right now, James, but an opportunity on the power play. You have to find a way to convert, move that puck quickly, and open up lanes. Tries to feed it over to Snively. And that's broken up. Moves it to the middle. And that chance is blocked. Great four check by Rowe. Trying to clear. Gets it out of his own end. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Charlotte's got possession while under man. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Now he slides it up to Snively. Here's a pass to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Well, they don't clear, but they still have the puck. The Bears fail to capitalize on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. We are still tied. Well, the power play unit looks stifled out there, and they have to make adjustments and read off what the PK unit is doing, and there was none of that. The Bears start with the puck in their own end. Quick feed to Vecchioni. The Bears carry it along the wall. Back to the blue line. Charlotte's got the puck. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Moves it to Vecchioni. The Bears are across the line and into the offensive end. Hershey's got the puck behind the net. Here he is in front. Oh, a clutch save. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Of the puck. Here they come down the right side and on the attack. Textbook poke check by Huntington. Picked up along the boards by Asplund. Takes the shot. And that's denied by Shepard. Scrum along the boards. Hershey's got a hold of the puck. Great defensive effort with the stick. Fires it on now. Has it in the defensive end. That's a good heads up play at center ice. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The game is still scoreless. Brindamore is feeling that and someone's going to the box. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Well, he's gonna get the slashing call here, James, and it's a stick infraction. What that means is you're in a vulnerable spot. Why? Your opponent has gained position on you. Both teams lining up for the face-off, and it's a chance to see if there's actually some power in this power play. An opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they've worked on this in practice. It's something you do, your repetition. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. Mayhew swooping in on the attack. And he makes a save there. And the puck clears the zone. 
Charlotte's gained possession along the boards. Gains the zone through center. Puts it on net. Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? Huntington's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Hershey's won the face-off deep in their own end. Moves around along the half wall. And that's off a stick. Let's go! Right with the man advantage, and they make it click. What I really love about this power play is it isn't predictable, which means the PK doesn't know where that puck is going. That's how you manipulate it. That's how you open up lanes. And this shot comes from the mid lane or the interior of the ice, and it's buried. The Chippers are first to light the lamp tonight, and let's see where it goes from here. There's been some back and forth action, and you have to believe that sometimes when there's one, there's more to come. Cruz won the draw at center. Over. The Bears play it along the boards. Here's a shot, and that's blocked from someone in front. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Long reach breaks up the momentum and tries to make a diagonal pass to Huntington. And still using the stick to poke the puck away. Krisky's got it in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Vecchioni. The Bears get a hold of the puck. The Checkers gain possession in their own end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Pokes it away in his own end. With the backhand. Oh, what a stop by Shepard. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. More than half the frame has been played here. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Oh, just got a piece of that one with the glove to keep it out. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. Hershey's got the puck after winning the defensive zone face-off. Slides in Diorio. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, what a save in front. Blocked in traffic. Scooped up along the wall by Hofer. The checkers move the puck in the defensive zone. Hershey's got to hold of it against the wall. Oh, look at this chance. Slides it in front. Locked shot. Quick feed to Strom. Takes a shot. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there. James, he was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Charlotte's ready to go on the attack. Hershey's got the puck along the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up Steve. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Charlotte's got it in their own zone. Through center. Battling for it along the boards. Across the line from center. Oh, and he misses on a great A-plus scoring chance there. Well, he's right exactly where he wants to be. He's got the puck on his stick, just unable to put it in the mesh. The Bears have it now. Charlotte's got control of it now from their own end. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Strong defensive effort. And he slides it quickly to Rowe. Slip feed. Gets a piece of it with the glove. Takes the feed. The Bears take possession here in the open ice. Sends it over front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Slides the puck across to Delpy. The Checkers take it across the line. Grabs the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Snively. Gains the zone along the right wall. Pucks it in deep and they'll make a change. And it's kicked away. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Moves it quickly over to Brindamore. 
Hershey's got the puck in their own end. Takes the feed. Now a quick pass to Ness. Pass to MP. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Brindamore is across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. From the neutral zone now. Rowan's going to play it against the half wall. And he comes up with a stop there. Inside the final minute of the first here. Quick pass to Giles. Sensational stop by Shepard. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. The Bears pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Denied by the goaltender. all the time take away the eyes of the goaltender what does that mean it means you get yourself in front of that net whether it's a double stack a double screen whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck and he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly he tries to make himself as big as possible but he can't catch up to the puck puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again the bears win the face off at center here's a shot 20 minutes of play is in the box. Both teams get a chance to refresh and reset. We'll be back with second period action in no time. Fans, tonight, the home team lineup is dropping $50 gift certificates to Delman's. Proud sponsor of tonight's game. With 70 stores and 14 restaurants, Delman's has it all.
Marshall over to the third of this one play. What do you make of this one? The Checkers have had zero offensive production in this game. They've been on their heels, and really their opponent is taking it to them. The goaltender's been strong, and it's the reason this game is still tied. Charlotte's got a hold of the puck now. Inside the offensive end, now down the left. Charlotte's looking to break out of their own end. Oh, what a hit against the boards! Executed perfectly, James. I mean, he can't maneuver. He's got nowhere to go. He's lined up, and then he's taken down. There's another great save! The Bears moving ahead. Into the corner now. The Checkers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. And that's stuck. Battle along the boards. Takes the feed from the wing. Grabs the puck at center. The checkers have it now. Moves it to the middle. And that's intercepted. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Scoops up the puck now. Charlotte's playing it through the neutral zone. Fires it. Here's a shot. And he stakes that one with the claw. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We got a tie game. Nice job tying up his opponent. Benning stick handling in his own zone. Charlotte's got the puck against the half wall. Picks off the pass. Hershey's in now. Quick shot off target. Picked up along the boards by Iorio. Hershey's got the puck in the defensive end. And he slides it quickly to Rabinski. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. And some nice footwork to free the puck up to his teammate. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Here's a shot and makes a save. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. You know it's stepped on your toes there, James, but how to react to that massive hit? Quick feed to Delphi. Oh, to Mason with the paddle save. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where he's coming from, and he makes the save. The setters will glide into the dot. Brindamore's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Hofer's won the draw there on the attack. Dives down low to block it. Zone. The Bears take possession in the defensive end. Scoops up the puck here. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Dumps the puck in. Hershey's got the puck. Takes control of the puck. Into the offensive zone. Good hit on the play. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. Takes the pass. Fantastic save. It always amazes me that goaltenders often make this save look easy with all of that traffic in front and screen. I mean, it is important to battle and find the sight lines, and this goaltender who does a great job of making it happen. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, and it's all tied up. The 
Triples take possession off the face out. That's center ice now. He grabs the puck from a bad angle. And he's got the answer for that one. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. The checkers win the faceoff. A shot! And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Past the midway mark in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And with the two tied up off the faceoff, a great read to grab possession of the puck. Handles the pass. Hershey's on the attack. Quick pass across to Huntington. Moves the puck. Turned aside with a glove by Knight. Covers it up and will get a stoppage in play. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. Hershey's won the faceoff. Hershey's gained the line and into the zone. Taken along the wall by Vecchioni. Here's a shot. What save. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender in a task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Charlotte's going to start with the puck in their own end. The checkers are in transition. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. And now he passes up to Vecchioni. And that pass is intercepted. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Here's a chance. Shot! Way too much congestion blocks that. From the left side, takes it at center. Along the half wall with the puck. The Bears have it from their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. A field goal! Oh, he comes up with a stop. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We got a tie game. Charlotte's got it in the defensive zone. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. And that's knocked away by Arturio. Going with a stop. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Grabbed along the boards by Iorio. Scrum along the boards, they battle for the puck. Oh, it comes up with a big stop there. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. Well, that's one way to take possession with both centers tied up there in that scrum. Handles the puck. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. And it's a quick pass to Dalpy. Loses his balance on the play. Charlotte's got the puck along the wall. From the slot, wrist shot. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Shepard. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high... Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck quickly since an upward trajectory as this game's progressed and they find the back of the net. Well, this is just a great job to get the hands away from the body and deflect that puck into the net as it changes direction. Goaltender doesn't have a chance.
The Bears are in the driver's seat now with that one goal lead and timing, Cheryl, late here in this period. That's huge. That's a huge booster for them, James, not only in terms of their confidence, but also the recognition of where they are heading into the intermission. Now it's about staying aggressive, but managing the puck. They need good blue line decisions. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Here we go, on the rush here. And that's intercepted by Shepard. Goaltender covers up, we got a stoppage in play. The Bears came into this one with one thought on mind. Lots of pucks to the net, and they continue to lead here late in the second. And now it's grabbed by McElrath. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Here's a chance! Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Grabs the puck right in front and tries to escape the pressure. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Hershey's been the better looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one goal lead. Good heads up play to sneak in there on the tie up and come up with the puck. Scores! And the rookie gets his first playoff goal! Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. Hershey's now gone up by two here in the late going to the second. And this is a nice place to be here, Cheryl. It's exactly where they want to be, and they won't want to sit back. They'll want to continue to push right through to the end of the period. They've got that nice, healthy cushion. They don't want to give it away. The Bears will play it in their own end. Gaining momentum along the way. Taken by Hooker. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. Charlotte's got the puck along the boards. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Receives the pass. How did he stop that one? Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he scores. Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. Well, there's not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible, but this one has seeing eyes through traffic and finds the back of the net. Charlotte's goal late here in period number two has given them new life here late. They'll need to take that life and re-energize themselves, but it's been all about good habits, not getting frustrated at the score, finding a way to put it in. They just did it. Scrum along the wall. Slides it back to the blue line. With the blast! Too much traffic in the lane. Grabs the puck. Seven seconds left. And he had the answer on that play. And with that, two periods now in the books. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we got the third period coming at you in moments. Players are set, officials are set, third period action is coming up. All right, the puck is dropped on the third and final frame. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? Charlotte's got to stop giving the puck away, James. I mean, when it's on their stick, it's like a hot potato, and they're throwing it away. And I'm telling you, their opponent has really dominated possession because of it. They've been chasing the game. They've got to do it. Stars! And that's three. It's a hat trick here on the road. Well, old hat for him in a way because it's a business-like approach as he's on the road. He just says, yeah, just bring it. I mean, gets a hattie to boot. Great patience by the shooter as the goaltender drops into the butterfly, but doesn't go glove hand, instead goes blocker side, stick side high. What a finish. Lots of time left in this period. We are all tied up in this one. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice face off. Moves it to Huntington. And a quick check knocks the puck away. Knight's gonna hang on to 
the puck and get a stoppage in play. Nothing gives confidence to a team more than a big save, and he's been doing it all night, James. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Asplund's won a big draw on their own end. Slides it diagonally to Mayhew. And he takes the feed. I don't think it scores! And that one going off the defender for an own goal. Well, you don't see that very often when you shoot it into your own net trying to clear the puck. That's ugly. The checkers have to be feeling good about themselves after taking the lead with that goal here in the third. Yeah, and it's not much of a cushion the way this game has gone back and forth, James, but it's something. You're in the lead, so now you want to continue with that tempo. Find a way to push your opponent back. Continue to punch and press. Gains the zone. Shot. The guys on the play. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. The Bears look to start the transition game. Feeds it all over to Shot! Oh, so good! Oh, my goodness, what a star! Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Now, they always say, to be great, you have to get uncomfortable. As we look at this last save, this looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. The Bears need to start finishing their chances as they trail here in this third period. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Nice blocker save by Knight. And the puck's not loose. Great read to break up the play. Hershey's got a hold of it along the wall. Takes the feed as center moves up ahead. Misses wide of the net. The Chippers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Charlotte's looking to break out. And he takes the feed. Scores! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. Well, this is a real tough play for a goaltender to get a read on, James. You're in that inner slot area. The puck's on the backhand, fighting for position and getting it off quickly. That's a tough one to read and a reason why it goes to the back of the net. Charlotte's taking a two-goal lead now to start period number three. Well, it looks like the leadership group had something to say between periods because they have another gear here. They've come out with a sense of urgency and created a ton of energy. Here's a short pass to True. And he takes the dish. Shepard's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. We're still in the early stages of this period. Charlotte's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. The Bears start with the puck in the right end. Sends the pass over. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Sends the pass down low. Puck scooped up by True. The Bears scoop it up along the boards. Hershey's got a hold of the puck. And he slides it quickly to Frank. And now he moves it quickly to Robinski. The Bears have had more chances offensively, but they have not been able to convert trailing here in this third. Huntington's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Oh, slick work with the glove by Knight. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The checkers lead by a pair. It's 5-3. The Bears will start off on the attack after winning the draw. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Great poke check on the reach. Five-point range. Angles it over to Iorio. And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Asplund's taking it from his own end. Moves it quickly over to Mayhew. Turned aside with a glove by Shepard. I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James, but man, he flashed the leather. He made the save. No rebound to boot. 
Both teams readying here for the faceoff. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Denies him! He got all of it! Hard hit, freeze up the puck. Feccioni's in his own zone. Up along the wing. They've got numbers here. Long jam in front, that's broken up. The checkers will play from the defensive zone. Dumps it in, and they'll skate off for a change. Slides it quickly to Rowe. On the attack along the boards. Tried to make a move, and the puck hops away. Trying a nifty move when you have good hands. Sometimes it works, sometimes you get denied, and that's what happened there. The Bears gain possession in their own end. McElrath's loving the puck. Here they come up along the wing. Puck set in deep, and they'll change things up on the back end. Great feed from the left side. Hershey's got possession of the puck. Now a quick pass to Rowe. The Bears take it along the wall. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Hershey's run into a hot goaltender tonight. They've had no shortage of scoring opportunities, but yet they can't convert, and they trail here in the third. Fitzgerald's moving the puck through his own zone. Through center along the wing. A chance in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Well past the midway mark of this period, no shortage of offense on display tonight on the ice. It's a 5-3 game. Hershey's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Here they come on the attack. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Makes it look easy with the stop. Oh, a save of the goal! Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Here's a shot! Oh, it scores! Deuces wild as that's his second of the game! Well, he's got two tallies on the score sheet, James, but I love this game off the puck as well. I think that he's had a hard nose on the forecheck. He's hounded it, he's hunted it, and guess what? He's been rewarded for his efforts. This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. The checkers continue to ring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. Charlotte's got control of it now from their own end. Puck upon quickly so you gotta have a quick release that's the first thing and the second thing is the accuracy if it's quick and it's on you're gonna score the checkers are having themselves a night they probably don't want this one to end pounder nah i wouldn't if you're patting the stats and you're putting up these kind of numbers i mean from start to finish they've imposed their will on their opponent hershey's gonna start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that face off with possession along the wall. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Knight. This is a dialed-in goaltender. Very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. Well, this game is wild, James. End-to-end -end action. Let's just forget the defense, shall we? And just close the goal calls. Oh, what a stop. He makes some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? Excellent stick work on the play. Hershey's got it in their own zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Charlotte's got the puck. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Sends it into the offensive zone. Slides it across to Huntington. Reaches out and uses the stick. Change up, change up. Driving right to the front. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Center moves up ahead now. Take 
takes the shot. Oh, Slams with the glove by Knight. Here's the change. Hershey's time is running out in this one to try to even things up. They've had plenty of scoring chances, but no finish tonight. Asplund's won the draw here in their own zone. The Chippers move the puck in the defensive zone. And offside, we'll get a reset here. Centers are lined up, and we are ready to resume. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Steps into the offensive end. Here's a chance. He scores! What a play! This could be a real difficult spot for a goaltender to come into, James. The team is not playing well in front of you. The starter's been chased out of the crease, and then you get peppered right away. Real tough. Charlotte's added yet another one here to the total tonight. What a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. Huntington's won the draw center. And it's hooked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Penalty coming up as the play is blown dead. Natural tendency for players is to reach when they've lost position on their opponent. When you reach, often you take out the feet of your opponent. This is an easy tripping call. Hershey's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. Playing big in the moment there. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Passes it to Snively. From the open ice, they gain the line. And the puck dies with the trapper save. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man advantage. Hershey's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Denies him in close. The goaltenders have the last line of defense for a reason. And this time, he bails his team out. Hershey's got to start to recognize a sense of urgency here. They continue to trail late in the third and have had plenty of chances, but can't finish. Deep inside the defensive end, still trying to clear. Poked away in the defensive end. Moves the puck to Iorio. Oh, what a smart heads-up play. Snaps it on there. Denies him in front. That's an incredible save, James. I mean, he's got presence in his crease, and he's also got a great glove hand, and he shows it right there with that save. True's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Hershey's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. And a good save on the play as action continues. Well, oh, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. I don't think the PKers are going to be blocking any shots on this one, James. I know I wouldn't be. Just look at the score of this game. It's over. Hershey's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Charlotte's won the draw. Almost down to the final minute here in this third. Handles the pass from the right wing. Into the offensive end now. Charlotte's penalty kills get a hold of it. He grabs the puck here at the four. Oh, and he stops that one. Knight's got the puck. He's going to hang on for a whistle and slow things down. Well, he's been shelled, hasn't he, James? He's weathered every storm that's been thrown at him, and now he elects to pounce on this puck. It's a nice, safe play. He anticipates well, and he holds on for the whistle. Here he is. He's close. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Ness takes it inside his own end. 